A very good morning to all of you. I am Anita Malik, Assistant Professor in Doon Valley Institute of Pharmacy and Medicine, Karnal. Today, I am here to discuss about the topic fibers. The main content of this presentation will be introduction of the fibers, their classification, and we can we have studied various types of fibers in this session. That is the cotton, silk. Wool, jute, hemp, etc. So now, starting with the introductory part, what are fibers? These are the tissues composed of spindle-shaped, spindle-shaped or elongated thick-walled cells. Elongated means in lengthwise, but they are thick-walled cells. Their cells are thick-walled with the pointed ends. Means they are very fine. Cell walls of which consist of cellulose and may or may not contain lignin. The important constituents in the fibers are cellulose, and it may or may not contain lignin. Fibers these are developed from the single cell means unicellular. These are developed from the single cell. The fiber initial, which during its development grows rapidly in the axial direction. Throughout the axis, they develop rapidly. They are unicellular in nature because they are developed from the single cells. This is a brief introduction of the cell of the fibers. That is, they are the tissues composed of the spindle shape or elongated thick walled cells, but with the pointed ends and cells of which mainly constitutes cellulose and it may or may not contain lignin. Next, coming to the classification of the fibers. Fibers can be classified on the two bases. First one is the natural, second one is the man-made. Natural fibers include cotton, jute, silk, and wool. That is, cotton obtained from the plant, jute also, and silk and wool are from the animal source. Cotton and jute are the plant sources, and silk and wool are the animal sources. And man-made sources. Fibers are consist of regenerated fibers that is rayon and acetate or you can also include in this terylene, nylon, etc. This is about the classification of the fibers. You can divide the fibers mainly into two classes that is the natural and man-made. So first one we are starting with the cotton fiber. You can see in the picture this is a cotton. What is the synonym of cotton? Cotton can also be known as raw cotton, absorbent cotton, surgical cotton or purified cotton according to their stages. So what is the biological source of cotton? It consists of the epidermal trichomes or the hairs. Epidermal means on the outer layer of the seeds is known as epidermis. So it consists of the Epidermal trichomes or the hairs of the seeds of cultivated species of the Gossypium herbaceum, Gossypium barbadensis, or Gossypium hirsutum. These are the various species of Gossypium, and it belongs to the family Malvaceae. So, cotton is a plant source, and it is obtained from the Gossypium plant, and its family is Malvaceae. Geographical source, it is cultivated, plant is cultivated in US, India, Egypt, Africa and South Africa, etc. This is about the preparation of cotton or you can say the cotton growing cycle. This is the seed of the cotton. When it matures, it gives a leaf, then bud, then from it is flower and in this flower there is a cotton bowl. This is enclosed with the cotton and when it's open, we can find the cotton. So what is preparation? We are studying in the detail. Firstly, seeds are covered with the hairs and known as bowls. These seeds, these are covered with the hairs and collectively they are known as bowls and they are collected, dried and taken to the gaining press. Gaining press, what is the function of guinea press? Gaining press separate the hairs from the seeds as we have said 
and this seeds are covered with the hairs and we have to separate the hairs for the cotton fiber seed with the hair collective known as balls and when these balls are collected dried and taken to the ginning press what does the ginning press do it separate the hairs or trichomes from the seeds and their various devices are used to separate the hairs on the basis of their length wise the short and the long hairs are separated from each other the hairs with a short length are known as lenters and they are used for the manufacturing of absorbent cotton while long hairs are used for the preparation of cloth when you will separate the cotton according to the length short and long hairs the hairs are separated and the hairs with a short length are known as lenters and they are used for the manufacturing of absorbent cotton while the long hairs that is are used for the preparation of cloth in this way the raw cotton is obtained which is full of impurities because it is raw so many vegetable debris like wicks fat coloring matter vegetable debris etc can be present with the raw cotton and it is a next function next process to get rid of the most of the impurities for the use of this cotton then where it is taken after the ginning press it is taken to the machine known as curtain opener and followed by the treatment with the dilute soda solution or the soda ash solution what we have to do we have to do take it this to now for getting removal of the impurities now it is taken to the machine machine's name is cotton opener cotton opener mein kya karte hain we have to treat it with the dilute soda solution or sodium carbonate or soda ash solution which is under pressure for 10 to 15 hours then after treatment with this 10 to 15 hours the wicksy fatty material and coloring matter are removed by this treatment it is then washed with water and treated with the suitable bleaching agent and because of this bleaching agent we get a white color cotton after the treatment of the bleaching agent it is again washed with the water because the excess of the chemicals will remove in this process then dried and it is carded into the flat sheets then it is finally packed in a wrappers and sterilized by means of gamma radiation what we have found cotton in our homes it is carded into the flat sheet and they are sterilized by the gamma radiation so this is the basic process i am again explaining you in brief firstly we have to get a seeds seeds are covered with the hair they are known as balls then these balls are taken to the ginning press where their hairs are separated according to their length that is the short hair and long hair short hair are known as lenters and used for the absorb manufacturing of absorbent cotton and long hairs used in the preparation of cloth then we obtain in this the raw cotton it is full of impurities next our aim is to get rid from the most of the impurities then for this purpose it is taken to the ginning press where sorry cotton opener where it is treated with the sodium carbonate solution or soda ash solution under pressure for the 10 to 15 hours and through this process the wicksy fatty material and coloring matter all are removed and this is treated with a suitable bleaching agent now it is again washed with the water dried and carded into the flat sheets and after carding into the flat sheets it is wrapped finally packed in a wrappers and sterilized by means of gamma radiation so this is the basic preparation of the cotton fiber now coming to the morphology its morphology size of the cotton ball is 2.5 to 4.5 cm in length and diameter is 25 to 35 micrometer in diameter the shape are cylindrical when young and bud becomes flattened and twisted as it is mature color is white due to the bleaching otherwise it is off white order is cotton order is orderless taste is tasteless extra features appearance is soft fine filament like hair which are unicellular in nature next chemical constituents 
it consists of the following constituents mainly all the plant fibers as we have already discussed that they contain cellulose as a major component it constitutes it constitutes 90% of cellulose and 7 to 8% of moisture 0.4% of wax fat and oil and 0.6% protoplasm and other cell content and 0.2% of ash and purified or absorbent cotton that is entirely free from the cellulose is contains entirely cellulose because there is no wax fat and oil purified cotton constitutes only or contains only cellulose and 6 to 7% of moisture and 0.2 to 0.3% of the ash now the chemical test how will you identify when a lot of fibers are given to you in front of you then how you can identify that your fiber is cotton or silk or jute so there are specific test for the cotton for the cotton is cotton fibers plus n by 50 iodine solution then dry it after treating with the iodine iodine solution you have to dry it then you have to add few ml of 80% sulfuric acid trichomes assumes purplish blue or bluish green color what does trichomes get the color purplish blue or the bluish green and this is the distinction test from the jute hemp wool silk nylon alginate rayon and acetate rayon means by this test by performing this test with the iodine solution and sulfuric acid you can distinguish your cotton fiber from the other fibers then there is a quasam test what is in this test raw cotton fibers you have to take the raw cotton fibers then treat with the quasam reagent what does quasam reagent is it is the ammonical copper oxide solution it dissolves the raw cotton fiber with the formation of balloons you will find a balloons like shape while absorbent cotton dissolves completely with uniform swelling so this is the basically test to distinguish or differentiate between the absorbent cotton and raw cotton raw cotton will dissolve completely with the formation of balloons while absorbent cotton dissolves completely with uniform swellings there is no balloons like formation in the absorbent cotton so this is the second test then third test is cotton plus dilute anion solution dilute sodium hydroxide solution and hcl this in this solution the cotton is insoluble this is distinction test from the silk next cotton plus cold 80% sulfuric acid soluble and insoluble cotton when you treat the cotton with the 80% of sulfuric acid that is soluble and insoluble in cold 60% sulfuric acid concentrated hcl 5% koh and 90% phenol cretone and acetone so this is the chemical test identification test for the cotton now the uses cotton is used in various fields like firstly in the filtering medium and surgical dressings we all have seen the cotton is widely used in this then as a insulating material also like absorbent wool cotton can be used and performs a serve as a function of insulation also like in the muffled furnace then absorbent cotton can also absorb the blood mucus pus and prevent the wounds from getting infection further now the by products of cotton the raw cotton when passing through the cleaning process before it is baled as a result the grower obtains valuable by products that amount approximately to 1/6 of the entire income derived from the cotton plant so by products are also very important what is this this is cotton lintel when we separate the short fibers short fibers known as absorbent and raw cotton while the long fibers we helpful in making a cloth so what does cotton lintels do 
these are the short hair like fibers used in making the regenerated fibers then hulls these are an outside portion of the seed which is rich in nitrogen and can use as a fertilizer also next is the inner seeds seeds inside the hull gives the cotton seed oil which is used in cooking and in making soaps also so this is all about the by products of the cotton so here we are completed with the first fiber that is the cotton next is hemp this is also known as indian hemp or cannabis synonyms of hemp are cannabis indica indian hemp ganja charas marijuana so what is the biological source it is obtained from the bust of the plant cannabis sativa and it belongs to the family cannabinaceae <clears throat> how you will cultivate this there are broadly three groups of cannabis varieties that are cultivated today varied varieties primarily cultivated for the fiber characterized by the long stems and little branching this is known as industrial hemp means this is industrial hemp what is the main character that it is characterized by the long stems and there is a very little branches and the hemp oil is extracted from the seed then varieties grown for the medicinal or recreational purposes so there are very different methods for each of the class in which you have to use what you have to use in which form hemp is to be used the preparation is in this fibers are obtained by subjecting the starch to a series of operations which includes the rotting drying and crushing and a shaking process rotting drying and crushing rotting karne hai humne fir drying rotting field dew stream cone or snow rotting means treatment with a water for a long time then for small stems of flax or younger hemp then you have to do breaking and scooching and for the large hemp stems you have to do peeling breaking means you have to break into smaller parts and after this heckling heckling is also known as hackling or hatchling and then spinning spin karna hai apne apne fiber ko then weaving raw working or other fiber arts in this you scooching you have to beat beat karne se wo different different fibers alag ho jate hain so you have to do beating in this in heckling you have to straighten the fiber now so that it can further spin in the preparation and morphology fibers these are obtained by subjecting the stalks to a series of operation rotting drying and crushing and a shaking process that complete the separation from the woody portion se aapka bilkul separate ho jayega aur release karte hain wahan se long fairly straight fiber or line and the fiber strand usually cover over 1.8 meters 5.8 feet long these are made up of individual cylindrical cells with an irregular surface and fiber diameter range from 16 to 50 microns the diameter is like this and the fiber longer and less flexible is usually yellowish greenish or dark brown and gray and because it is not easily bleached to sufficiently light shade it is rarely dyed so this is all about the preparation and morphology next the chemical constituents it consists it contains again 70% cellulose and contains low level of lignin that is 8 to 10% it also contains the pectins in the 2.9% fat wicks 0.9% mineral 1.8% and otherwise cannabis also contain the resins like cannabis cannabidiol cannabidiolic acid that is sedative and antibiotic cannabinol cannabic chromine and also the volatile oil prignolin and choline uses 
these are used to make the ropes canvas and paper also and it is helpful in making the cloth and as used as a filter aid so this is all about the hemp indian hemp next is jute it's synonymous gunny you must have heard the name gunny bags so this is a jute its biological source is it consists of the phloem fibers from the stems of the various species of the corcorus or corcorus capsularis corcorus oritorius and other species of corcorus and it belongs to the family teliaceae basically the stem portion its geographical source are west bengal and assam description in this they are very tall jute fibers are very tall they are usually annual herbs reaching to a height of 2 to 4 meter and branch and if branch it has only a few side branches the leaves are alternate simple lanceolate 5 to 15 cm long and they are finely serrated or lobed margin the flowers are very small and yellow with the five petals this is the main characteristics of the flower of the jute plant the fruit enclose many seeds in the capsules this is all about the morphology then the preparation of jute fiber threading is again the process for the preparation of bast fibers this process is done by the three methods by the water by steam or by the mechanical process the microbial or water retting process is very old as and with this you have to soak your fiber in water to soften them this is known as retting process and this is very popular method for breaking the lignin content or lignin bond present between parenchyma and sclerenchyma then breaking of this bond facilitate the easy procurement of skin from its core so easily wo separate ho jayega wahan se and then this material is washed dry to release the pectin from there when the bone will break it can release the pectin which makes the hard skin to fine thread like fibers and the jute fibers then graded according to their color strength and fiber length the fibers basically are from the white to brown in color and they are 1 to 4 cm long this is all about the jute fibers there are the different shapes and here it is the plant jute this is the various stages of production and processing first one is cultivating then you have to harvesting by cutting then retting then stripping after stripping wash karna hai aapko then dry and then baling or pack kar dena and then storage this is the jute plant then harvested plants immerse in water this is the retting process because in this process this is soften and after softening stems are separated and they are made into the jute fibers this is basically the process of preparation of the jute fiber from the jute plant then the microscopy when you will see a jute fiber under the microscope a thin transverse section of the strand when treated with the fluoroglucinol and hcl it stains the strands deep red which indicate the presence of lignin chemical constituent again it contains the cellulose 50 to 53% hemicellulose 20% lignin 12 to 13% water soluble matter 1.5% fat and waxes 1% fat also 1% wax also 1% these are the uses of the jute fiber it is listed as a second most important vegetable fiber after cotton or you can say after cotton this is a widely used fiber and this is used mainly or chiefly to make the cloth for wrapping bales of raw cotton when you have to bind raw cotton then jute fiber is used this is in the preparation of sacks when bunch of any fiber is used in the preparation of sacks in the 
and the coarse cloth a very thick cloth is known as the coarse cloth they are also woven into the curtains you can also find the curtains of jute chair coverings even the carpets then hessian cloth very fine threads of jute can be made into imitation silk this resemble to the silk and also in the making of paper also jute papers it is even used in the manufacturing of towels statues chupas padding splints filtering and straining media and this is also used for the preparation of coarse bags these are all about the images of the uses this is the bales of the raw cotton raw cotton and uh, jute fiber is and covering of the jute fiber this is sacks made up of jute has in cloth and padding splints when you get a support or minor fracture then padding splints are made up of the jute fiber how you will identify on the jute fiber from the other fibers felling test stiff and a harsh hand to human skin it feels bad against the feeling test this is known as felling when you will touch it this is a very harsh to human skin you will not find it soothing and it feels very bad against the skin and but second is the burning test not melt it not melt and not even and burn easily but smell with the paper burning smell is ki aisi hoti hai bahut hi like the kuch jal raha paper burning because paper is also a cellulosic material then when fibers will stain with the chloroglucinol hcl they give a deep red color and fibers also give a yellow stain with chlor zinc iodide solution it contains the chlorine zinc and iodide it gives a yellow color so this is all about the different fibers we have studied today that is first one is the cotton then the jute and indian hemp so i hope you will now understand about these fibers the the classification their preparation their constituent you came to know about their uses their chemical constituents and identification or test also if you have given the mixture of the fibers then you have to perform a chemical test mention in each of the drug in fibers respectively cotton jute and then you have to identify by performing their different chemical tests so thank you for watching the video